Today we are slapping a lot of rocks, we bring in the peccary and we're gonna have a barely amazing time. And with that, welcome back to Leafy Lake Zoo, our rollercoaster tycoon one inspired franchise zoo here in Planet Zoo. Welcome also to the anniversary update and welcome back to me being, well, kind of healthy again, I guess. Today's um, time lapse is gonna be a little bit reduced in time due to the fact that my voice is not gonna hold for longer than 10 ish minutes and uh, I have a little bit of a longer real time part for you, including the brand new animal we got with yesterday's anniversary update. But I'm gonna talk you through the two very cool builds we did on our live stream on Monday when I still was healthy i guess um just as a little side note i just got sick uh, in in a, such a spontaneous and weird way i've actually i didn't feel it coming on anyways i was just like i went to bed on tuesday evening like fully fully fine healthy happy you know i was looking forward to a bank holiday on wednesday and when i woke up i was like oh my god i'm gonna stay in bed for the whole time for the whole day and uh, that is exactly what happened on wednesday and yesterday and parts of friday as well now um we are building a bear habitat today, which is uh, the grizzly bears, and also because people were suggesting bears in the comments quite a bit, we are here now with the bear habitat. I have to say, it's been one of the coolest habitats to build, simply because on stream you need something that is super enjoyable to build at the same time as um, putting you in a situation where you can interact with the chat in a nice way. And this was specifically one of those times where it worked out super well, because, you know, bear habitats usually are super natural. They are a lot of, um, they have a lot of uh, very open areas with a lot of foliage, like overgrown, very typical stuff like nettles and, and fern and stuff like that, bracken, you know, these types of things that are very overgrown and you usually just have the path in between where the bears usually walk. Um, obviously, people ask for a water feature, so here you go. We have like a little water feature over here um, and it kind of seems like as if it's tumbling into the lake. Obviously, I couldn't couldn't make the connection to the lake anymore because, you know, the lake at this point is basically untouchable uh, simply because I wouldn't be able to get the water back in. Um, maybe I'm gonna do this at the very end of this series, but maybe not, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work. But yeah, I also took the um, fence that we've already brought into the camel areas and redesigned it a little bit to fit to the to the bears over here. So uh, at the end, I found this very nice looking. It looks really cool. Um, and I also came up with a bit of a different um, fence design over here for people to get a bit closer, but we will eventually have some lowered areas in the front of it so that the bears do not feel like grabbing the people down there and also having enough of security fencing to keep them away. Um, the bridge, which will remain the same until the very end, is still one of the biggest hazards in there. Um, so I would need to put some more uh, emphasis on that one with a couple of more nettings and stuff above it so people wouldn't jump into it. I mean, I mean, it's, it's like going on top of it on your own risk. You shouldn't just jump down, okay? But in, in terms of keeping the people safe, realistically, you would need to make like a bit of a bigger fencing around there. But hell, I mean, if people feel like jumping down in their bear habitat, you can't stop them, I guess. But yeah, so you can see this is the overall layout of the habitat. We are going to have like this huge natural area going all the way on top of the hill where the main um, the main shelter is going to be, which is again inspired one uh, by an older game, by Zoo Tycoon 1. This is going to be like a classic stone shelter type of thing, uh, using the lava rocks from the latest DLC. I think these lava rocks are amazing, even though they are not from the DLC, we have them in the free game now, but they came with the last DLC, with the last free update, I should say. Um, so I really loved how this turned out. It's looking super nice because it's, it's getting this natural shelter vibe, but it somewhat feels like integrated in Planet Zoo. And I don't know why, but I have the feeling that this theme Leafy Lake, inspired by Rollercoast Attack on 1 and by the games of that era, just makes me so happy. Maybe because I'm old, okay, you know, don't blame me for that, but this nostalgic feel that comes 
comes very hot in my my gut you know very very much making me feel so nice um just brings back the passion in me to build this and it makes makes me very happy uh and you can really feel like that my focus has shifted to this project simply because i love it so much uh that said just a little hint for those of you who are still into uh zoo sicily don't worry it's gonna come back with something big for those of you who are in my discord they already know what it's gonna be it's not gonna be today as it was usually planned because I was sick, I wasn't able to use the Wednesday to uh, make this. Um, I wanted to use the, the bank holiday to finish this up. But, you know, health comes first, I guess. So it's not been finished yet. I don't know when. I, I'm not going to make promises. But uh, I, I feel like very positive that this is going to be that, that is going to be something very good. Now, back to this project, you can see I'm putting in a lot of rocks. And I can already tell you, I'm going to delete a lot of rocks later on. You may ask yourself why. Well, because the game is having some issues with rocks, especially when it comes to the traversable area of our friends the bear. Um, yeah, I needed to get rid of, let's say, 30% of the rocks in this habitat in order to make it traversable at all for the bears. Some of which you may actually see in the time lapse. I, I think I left a couple of small bits in so you just see it but um, it feels like also Frontier has changed something about this I don't know intentionally or not intentional uh, non intentionally but um, with the update it was better um, when we check this in the real-time part later on you'll see that um, it works better now but in the old version of the game they were <laughs> barely able to walk through the habitat god this is so pun so pun related here but yeah it's it's been fun doing this but now you can see this in a bit um i was just plopping down a couple of things and then testing if they can reach it and once i tested that i was like oh well they don't even walk there so i was you know changing a couple of things trying to utilize stones for that rocks for that it just didn't work out and so i was changing a lot and you can see the traversable area just did not feel and work and whatever so i got rid of so many of the things changed um, quite a lot of things and yeah, until it just kind of worked, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it till the end. So I changed a lot of things um, off screen as well, making sure everything is traversable for them. Yeah, eventually I got this to work, eventually, but it's exactly not what I wanted. And as soon as I started putting in like foliage and stuff, it did not become better, you know? Some of the foliage items seem to be exactly the same barrier. I mean, I wish, I wish the same thing would have applied to the maze we are going to build in a second. People are just going to ignore these barriers. Like, the actual barriers in the game are going to be ignored by the people, while the things that shouldn't be a barrier for animals act like a proper barrier. It's weird, okay? It's weird. Let's not question it too much, though. It's... It's just the way it is. But yeah, it's it's been fun building this. And it's also been fun testing around uh, a couple of things with some plants and stuff in here. I just figured how many different plants we now have in this game. Whenever I went back to Planet Coaster to play the game, the one thing that stood out to me is the lack of foliage. Like, oh my goodness me, is this evident. When you go into Planet Coaster, you see like, we don't even have like a fraction of the of the plants like not even five percent i would say and that is insane you know when you go back to planet zoo you're greeted by uh, almost like the entire biodiversity of the planet earth i mean this is obviously completely exaggerated but it feels like in comparison so yeah so here's to um me making the maze this is our daily or oh, that's not that daily it's the uh, nostalgic element of the episode let's call it that way every single leafy lake episode is gonna have one nostalgic element of roller coaster tycoon one the first episode already got three in a row <laughs> like three of them have been in the first episode actually it's two it's the slide and the entrance and the second episode featured the swans and now the third episode is going to have the maze in here. And I gotta say that I like how it turned out. However, I don't like how the people use it, but there is not really that much to change about it, I guess. It's weird. Normally this barrier should work, but it just doesn't do it in the way it should. I'm going to try what happens if I put the other barriers on top of these as well. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. At the end of the day, um, it was a fun little idea and I'm... Actually, you know what, I'm more fine with the with the guests having a good time in the maze and not crowding too much. 
rather than having them actually crowd in there and just creating a huge bottleneck. So I don't know, I guess I will leave it the way it is. But yeah, in order to give them a destination to go to, we have a kiosk or as Kane has uh, actually phrased it nicely, first of all, we are gonna put them through a weird maze only to make them pay overpriced prices on our kiosk. That's exactly how we do it. And I think this describes exactly the the way how to play a game like Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day. So it's not even a nostalgic uh, build, it's also inherently uh, bringing the same mood, the same vibe as in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I think this is beautiful. I think this is beautiful. Now we're almost done with the time lapse. I said a little bit shortened this time around. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching until this very point in time. If you did, leave a like to the video as well. That would be nice. But you get a couple of more minutes now with me in the real time part. So thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I guess I talk to you after the cut. So I'm handing you over now to the real time Rudy. Okay, thanks for waiting. Here we are in the real time part and we will have a look at the new animal in a second. But first of all, let's have a little looky look at what I have created in uh, this beautiful episode. Now we have this huge bear habitat with a wonderful bridge crossing over with a lot of nice land for them to go through. And we also have our wonderful maze over here that the people do not really use as a maze. And so I needed to do a couple of things in order to make them use it this way. But they are cheating all the way along, just like the people in Roller Coaster Tycoon did. You know, at this point, I'm like, you know, whatever. Before there is too much crowding going on, it's fine. But um, yeah, the barriers seem not to work exactly how they should. I'm not sure if it's because they're not really pushed nicely together, or maybe I need to use the other barriers. Or maybe I'm gonna test it in the future, or maybe not. Who knows? Okay, let's have a little looky look. Um, we're doing fine in here. It's all good. I put also some donation boxes down here. Education still requires some work, so we will put down a couple of education boards there. We'll give me a sec. Let's. Uh, also, this is why is this a meerkat and not a raccoon? And also, why is this a meerkat and not a North American beaver? Yeah, this is also why the education may fail. Um, so, I'm gonna put one here to the stone. That's a very nice one. And we're gonna put one here ish, I guess. Let's just rotate it so that it doesn't stick into either side of it. Bring that forward a little. And then let's say grizzly bear. Sweet. And we do the same over here. Grizzly bear. Okay, so that's bear bear minimum. The bare minimum of education we require. And also, whoops, I'm gonna take this one over here. So yeah, a quick word about the bears. I'm not sure if I have mentioned that in the time lapse, but these bears are super, super annoying when it comes to the traversable area. Like, oh my god, do they have issues with the stones, it seems. Um, or in fact, Frontier seems to have fixed something with the anniversary update. Okay, that is interesting. But yeah, I'll take it. Um, I think there was something visible in the time lapse, but it was a pain to build though. Anyways, let's go into the animal and we're gonna type in peccary because I want to, oops, go away. Facility having negative effect. Yeah, I don't care about this right now. Um, let's see if there's any interspecies uh, stuff we can Ab uh, uh, use at the moment, abuse, <laughs> use at the moment, so it's a capybara. Actually, I'm really looking into a ca uh, making a mixed habitat next episode of the capybara, the Colombian white-faced uh, capuchin monkey, and our friend, the collard peccary. You know what we will do? We will just get it if we can. I'm not sure how the market is doing about this animal, as this is the first full day. Um, let's see if we can find this already. Or if it's too expensive. Oh no, it's actually fine. We can grab a Lewis. God, people are breeding this like crazy. Oh, look at that. We were lucky to get two already. Um, we surely are not going to throw them into <laughs> into the bears. But we can actually quickly throw them to the camels. Uh, we will have to change the camel habitat anyways. Um, how they are doing, by the way. Nutrition, last meal quality. You know what? Camels are kind of fine though. So we can give them a bit of a better meal quality. Oh wait, there are not soup. This is why. Uh, so we don't have a wet research center. We should actually get this. Mm. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this down here. This is our veterinarian staff, so we can actually go to staff facilities. Uh, research is uh, going to be here, and then whoops, we are going to have this one basically put here, and we're just going to enlarge the shelter. <laughs> it's basically just putting down a couple more walls. Hello, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Why is it so flippy? Okay, here you go. 
you get a slate roof and you're gonna grab this front over here whoop free build is gonna go crazy over here anyways we did it now as we have that we are going to just say vet research and oh look at that we do have still quite of those not okay we're doing good money wise so let's employ another vet just for the sake of um making sure that they are having enough okay so this is adeline mott uh this is going to be called this one is going to be called maria maria from a song from a song um regarding your names guys as i said already in time lapse i will put this uh, put all of these in in the beginning of the next episode simply because i've been sick and didn't have the time to make this so make sure to put more names down because we will require them quite a lot in the next episodes um and then we are going to name our bears so i will have a real-time part segment in the next video at the beginning promise and this is where we put all your names in so ensure to drop them down in the comments i still need so many more names we get so many more babies there are as you can see let, let's have a little look um uh so we have to get into locations you can see there are so many names we still need to get in L look we have beavers we've got uh, the uh, wonderful raccoons so we've got some babies in here so we do need quite a lot more names uh in order to ensure that everyone is happy uh you need a workshop i don't and i will do this later and now let's throw in the two peccaries real quick and then this episode is already finding an end uh because you know i'm still not 100 percent uh recovered wait what's gonna be where where are they i did purchase them why are they not hello how is this? I di uh, didn't I? How is this possible? Okay, I, I thought I have purchased them. I will definitely check back the video. Okay, so we have one. Huh? Okay, now I'm confused. Not sure if that's because I'm still feeling not 100% happy, but, but uh, also, do we have protesters in here? Oh yeah, look, who's who's so unhappy that we need protesters? Welfare. Oh, they are de dehydrated. Why the heck are you? Can you tell me why? Don't we have like a this this ugly pipe in here? No, we don't. Ah, okay. Well, see, then we're just going to give you an ugly pipe. Uh, if that helps, you obviously are going to get an ugly pipe. Let's do that. So the ugly pipe goes in here first. There you go. And then we put something more nice looking to the outside, like a little water bottle. Bottle of water goes, maybe you just give them a large water bottle. There you go. And then they will be, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just do that. It's gonna be resolved in a second. Okay, we only have one animal to look at, but hopefully it's gonna be brought in here. There you go. Let's have a little looky look. Ooh. There you go. Oh my god, this is a beautiful animal. Ooh, look at the fur. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, 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 I like it. Oh, dang. That's one beautiful animal. How are you doing in this habitat, just in general? Enrichment, food enrichment, terrain is doing quite well. Are you, are you fine with this too? Like social? The coverage of, of plants is a little too high. Okay. Well, I could get rid of some of those. I guess. Is that is that already helping? What is causing too much? The Oh, the nettle are. Okay, let's get rid of those. Uh, and what is what is so problematic? The common ash tree. Which, which one is that? Oh, because it's on the outside. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to bring this then to the other side. And hopefully this is now outside of your range. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice. Okay, so what about you, Piggy? Also, can you escape? Uh, you, you can. Where do you escape then? Is that like the little bit over here? Oh, look at that! It can escape um, below the fence. So I just need to do that real quick. And I think this should then solve the issue, right? And let's have a look. Yeah, that solved the issue. Awesome. You know, I'm just gonna, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna say peccary, and then we're going to go to uh. enrichment, food enrichment. Uh, you're gonna need this little 
thing over here and the small burial feeder. I mean, I think the camels wouldn't be too, too picky about this anyway. So this one, yeah, look at that. This one is going to do all the way good. Maybe we are lucky and get a male version of it now to Paloma. Let's see if Paloma can get a friend. Uh, reset all filters, go in here. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not going to look all that good over here. <laughs> so cash listings only, confirm. Oh, look at that. There are some. Diego. Diego is looking good. Diego is going to be sent to zoo. There you go. Are they still being dehydrated? I mean, if so, they are just stupid. Uh, let's have a look. Welfare. No, they're doing better again. Look, no issue whatsoever. Why are you still here? Yeah, exactly. Just leave, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so that's that guys. Um, I want to end this today on a positive because we've made again some huge progress Some huge nostalgia kick in here and it's gonna be very interesting what nostalgic element we are bringing in next episode Oh god, I'm I'm so hyped look at that. I mean having the slide the swans uh, the maze now I mean put down your suggestions. What is the next little nostalgia element? We're gonna bring in there is so much left to do I've got so many ideas and I will obviously bring them all to the workshop once they are done um, including the entrance and stuff, of course. So make sure to keep an eye on the workshop too. Thank you so much for watching as always. And if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to do so. YouTube actually, after a month, have replied to me what the biggest issue with my channel was. And hold on, it's been that over 70% of my constant viewers are not subscribed, which makes the algorithm think it's not worth pushing it anymore because people do not subscribe even after watching on a regular basis. So please, if you like my content and you can, you know, have one more sub in your sub feed, please consider subscribing. Um, this is actually in the mail that YouTube sent me. So evidence uh, is actually in the mail. So I'm going to put this in as a screenshot now. So you uh, actually can, you know, believe me that it is. It's German though. You have to just... I don't know, translated, I don't know. But <laughs> just so you see, I'm not talking to you with the weird fact. This is actually what they told me. So uh, with that said, oh my God, in rain, it looks also so good. Remember how cool rain was in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1? I don't know, sometimes I forget how, how cool rain looks in this game. Never mind. Have a good time. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.